Hello everybody, welcome back to Dominions 5. We are playing as M.A. Alm, and we are fighting against everybody uh, because we are stuck in an unfortunate diplomatic situation. Um, there was a battle in Grey Barrier. So East has a big army that he is hoping to bring to my capital. Uh, he has to get through Abyssia. And I don't think he gives a shit about Abyssia, so he's just going to take this problems from him. Go you. Uh, then we take the throne province back. Um, he just had a bit of PD, and we one turn breach the fortification, because of course. Um, then... Uh, oh, uh, this is just... Um, uh, Relay taking another random province from us, so uh, there's actually nothing here we haven't seen before. Just Illithids and the Utterfast, and yeah, just this is uh, all stuff that we've seen before, so nothing too special here. Um, ah, this was the other, this is the second big fight against Is. Uh, we are uh, rallying out of our castle. We are hoping to, yeah, for this castle to survive. So this is... Uh, a bigger, I think he has fewer sacreds, but he has a lot more chaff, and he's got uh, some archers of his own, uh, and he's got a ton of air gems here apparently. So actually, I'm not showing you my guys because we all know what my guys do: summon earth power and then whatever. Oh, so he's doing no, not communion. What is he casting? Wind guide. All right. Uh, I'm still in like buff uh, buff phase. I, I'm curious to see what what happens here. He's doing gifts from heaven, but that's not with this guy. I don't know what this guy's doing. Uh, what's this guy's name? Darika. So we'll, we'll look for Darika over here. Anyway, so his archers are firing at me, but my guys don't really care about longbows. I don't think. Uh, Fortunately, Gift of Heaven misses, because it has terrible precision. Um, and these are my evocations. Uh, so once again, I've scripted these guys for hold and attack cavalry. So splat. <laughs> there go his secrets. Um, and also splat, because my evocations are pretty awesome. Uh, I still haven't seen... Oh, yeah, his... <laughs> Um, yeah, so he's just doing Thunder Strikes, so I don't know why he has all these air gems, basically, uh, if he's just casting Thunder Strikes. Um, the Gifts of Heaven kind of miss and hit... Actually, they don't really hit his own dudes either. Um, so, yeah, basically his Sacreds run into my... Thanks. Oh, uh, that one hurt. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like, my guardians are... So this, um... And so here, uh, sorry, I've got some more bleeps from Steam. Uh, so at this point, it kind of looks bad, right? Um, because I lost a lot of my chaff. Um, but fear not. For we are Ulm. And, oh, we still have our commanders, by the way, who are on hold, uh, who are holding a bit longer. Uh, our evocation is strong. As long as they don't touch my mages, we are, we've got no problem. And they are routed. We killed all the sacreds again. We lost all of our chap. Because, uh, you know, he had uh, like a lot of longbows and he also had some evocation spam of his own. And, you know, gotta respect his sacreds. They are strong troops. But, um. Yep. All um, evocation magic for the win. So. We actually lost, uh, like, six mages here. Uh, we killed uh, two of his mages and uh, two of his uh, sacred commanders. Uh, I 
don't know if these are the cap only ones. Um, and uh, a bunch of his chaff, all of his sacreds, most of his chaff, yeah. And we actually lost about, actually, it's not as bad. We lost about half of our guys because I think a lot of them actually successfully retreated. So, yes, another uh, successful fight against Ys. Uh Then there was a battle in Iryu, which is uh, just to change the subject a little bit. So this battle was against, um, yeah, so this is uh, Oceania. So Oceania has been making a ton of Afri, which are his sacred cavalry. Um, I don't know if I've shown his bless yet. Uh, apparently he doesn't have a profit here. Uh, so he has cold weapons. So he's just got a water dude with a defense and cold weapons. So sure. Um, I don't know what these guys... Uh, Getting a weapon buff on these guys is uh, interesting because they only have one attack. Um, but uh, but it means, you know, if you're doing an awake expander who's just going to take water, then one option is quickness. If you went for defense, it was cool weapon. Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know which I prefer. In any case, uh, he's got... That is a ton of Afroy, so obviously Iryu didn't stand a chance. Uh, now he, uh, yeah, but he didn't have a big army here. He just loses all the PD in his capital, which is unfortunate. So yeah, that happens. Um, another hurricane. And... Yeah, that's that. Oh, I apparently don't have the orders. Uh, in this turn file, so let's uh, let's see if I have them in the next file. This is which turn? This is turn twenty-seven. Now uh, let me see if I can find the orders for what I actually do here. Uh, I think it was file name twenty-seven. Yeah. So let's see if let's see what's in this folder. Twenty-eight. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, we have the orders. All right, so we've saved... Uh, okay, so a couple things. So we breached the fort here, so we are actually just going to storm it with a few guys, because we don't need... Because uh, as far as we know, this is essentially empty. Now his god got away. He moved him out, um, which was smart. <laughs> so he moved his god out. Um, so he's probably not got a lot of stuff in here. So uh, this should be enough to, to storm the fort. And we're moving the rest of the army back over here. So that it can, like, he's, uh, Relay's got a pile over here. We got to deal with that. Um, and then, uh, here, we are doing a super minimalistic, uh, Relay has been doing a bad job of putting PD in his provinces. So we're hoping we can get this back basically for free. Um, here we're hoping to grab, oh, here we are basically moving everything back into Alm. And we're going to, most of the army is coming through here. And the ones that can make it directly are going to make it directly right now. Unfortunately, like, we are sacrificing all our PD. In other words, we are not going to patrol outside on this turn because we don't have enough to win against this stack. So if he attacks Ulm, then he'll just take the outside and then we'll have to fight him off. We'll have to kick him off after. Um, if he waits a turn, then we can patrol outside with this army over here because this army from here plus whatever's in here will be enough to take this out so we don't if he attacks now he can kill the pd if he doesn't we'll still have it for later um tech wise i have dipped into alteration two for i don't know why i think earth meld because uh I'm not researching a lot because my guy, my majors are moving all over the place. So I know that Thaumaturgy uh, 5 is a long shot. So I'm trying to grab any kind of low-hanging fruit that will be useful to me. So Alteration 2 is something I can get in one turn. And I guess it does have Earth Meld, which is uh, actually quite a nice spell. So yeah, that's what's happening. All right, so that was turn whatever. And now it was folder 28 is what I remember. So let's go to folder number 29. I think this is the next turn. 
Looks right. Uh, okay, let's let's look at what happens in Eru. Ah, so uh, so this is the we last turn he took the he conquered the the province. Now Eru is moving out with everything he has in his cap, which includes a ton of mages <laughs> oh, and his god. Uh, so he had a rainbow bless on his guys. Uh, she's got like <laughs> every gem. Um, Oh, and they're all blessed. So we can see his bless. This was Aryu's bless. He has attack. Why does everybody choose attack skill? This is so bad. Uh, magic weapons, precision four, bark skin, magic resistance, and invulnerability ten. That is a weird bless. Um, interesting. So these guys are glamour, and normally with glamour you go with like uh, add like you go with more like dodginess not like tankiness um that is a weird bless um but okay uh so his guys are definitely tanky uh and then he's got a whole bunch of air i mean he's got a whole bunch of a lot of stuff uh so let's see what happens uh he might have the Merc that has the Water Elemental. Like, I don't know why this guy was here at the beginning of the fight. Um, so, he is doing a few... So, Aerie is doing a couple smart things here. So, he knows that there's a shit ton more more guys here. So, he needs to get... He has, he's going to have good evocations. Uh, but he needs to get... Um, like some more chaff in the way, right? Um, he's making ghost wolves. Uh, so because these guys are glamour, they actually are going to... Um, and because their odd bless is pretty tanky, they can actually last a while against these sacreds. Um, and this is what I'm talking about, all this quickness stuff, but you, uh, all this swarm stuff. But this is a little too late. He didn't, like, plan well for the attack rear. Uh, however, he does... Like, there are a few guys who 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 make it here just in time to, like, get in the way of this... Like, this swarm gets there just in time to fight off these guys. And then it is Thunderstrike Spam City. So Thunderstrike as well as Breath of the Dragon because they're within range. Breath of the Dragon is actually pretty powerful. You just rarely get to cast it because it's rare that things get close enough. Um, so then the big question is like, okay, the Evocation Spam is going to take these guys out. Um, but are these guys going to survive? Are these guys going to survive long enough against this pile of crap? Um, so that gets cleaned up. Now it's time to evocate this. Um, and you know, I said it was a really weird bless that I didn't quite get, but hey, it worked for him, <laughs> right? The super high protection and the invulnerability. Now, the cold weapons are getting right through, but hey man, maybe I was too quick to judge. Like, these guys are taking zero damage from the Afroi. Now, to be fair, they're also dealing zero damage to the Afroi. Um, but it's okay, because he's got these guys to do the damage. And the swarm is is perfect. That's exactly what you want. Um, the swarm makes these guys tired, because they're spending all of their energy killing little bugs. And then they just get more and more tired, and the evocation spam just kills them. And, you know, I gotta say, um, I mean, for this fight, this bless definitely worked. <laughs> um, anyways, that was a fantastic fight uh, from Iryu. Almost a disaster, right? These attack rear guys almost killed all of his dudes, but the swarm and the ghost wolves came just in the nick of time, and he was able to save the day and so he loses like half his sacreds and he kills so these guys are like they're not super expensive right 35 gold 12 resources he kills 63 of the afroids who are 55 15 <laughs> uh 
Oh my goodness. Um, he loses no mages. He kills like the whole army of uh, Oceania, and also like two. Holy shit! Two of the uh, two of these mages and three of these mages. I didn't even see how these guys died. Um, but yeah, well, like <laughs> what an epic win. Um, and that's what's kind of frustrating about this game is that, like, obviously long-term wise, Iryu and I have no chance, but we're actually getting amazing victories against all these water provinces. Uh, so, you know, it would be nice if we didn't have Abyssia <laughs> coming back and, like, getting all my shit, like, for reals? All right. Um, Alm, uh, not Alm, we are Alm, uh, Relay attacks us here with his utter fast and we just have pd so obviously we're gonna lose uh then ah yes so um relay attacks alm and like i said last turn we are not controlling so we are basically sacrificing our pd do we actually kill anything nope i don't think so Oh, we killed eight longbowmen somehow. <laughs> I guess our crossbows got a few shots off. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. He's got 27 knights. Uh, and this is... What's this? Oh, this is us storming the fort. Um, now, surprisingly, we... Like, not surprisingly, but like we... Um, like he's got a random Movark knight here. I guess that routed. So I got a little scared. Um... <coughs> Because they can be really powerful, but I actually do have like a ton of dudes here, so they're gonna miss, 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 and then eventually they're gonna hit him. So the first hit finally breaks the glamour off, and then they hit him because they actually have their morning stars, so they're they have a 19 attack versus shield. Uh, no, sorry, they have a 14 attack versus uh, shield. Uh, so they actually have like a few of them actually have a decent chance of eventually hitting one of those guys so yeah so we actually do take this fort would have been embarrassing if we hadn't um, yeah so um, so he's standing on Alm and next turn we are going to break siege so we have all of our dudes that were in here they're gonna break siege um, They've got, uh, I've given each of them fire resist, uh, so that they are even better suited to fight his knights. Then this pile of dudes is also moving into here. I think technically it should be move and patrol, but it doesn't really matter because he's got the outside. So yeah, it doesn't really, actually, you can't move and patrol. Yeah, I, this is correct. Uh, so yeah, the script is not, there's... So there's nothing fancy in these scripts, right? The guys, the people always put the cavalry on top and bottom. So you put your anti-cav on top and bottom. Now, I don't have a lot of luxury because I don't have a lot of chaff. So actually, I kind of got to put my chaff all over the place. But this is basically my chaff also. I've just been spamming out these guys. You can make three per turn. Uh, and so they're also on top here. And uh, we actually don't have... Oh, because I'm maybe hiding the researchers. I don't know. where. I feel like I don't have a lot of mages here. Oh, uh, they're maybe they're all stacked on top of each other. That's why. Uh, anyways, yeah. So we've got we're gonna do the usual earth elemental and then evocation spam. Um, and then we are taking this army, and we are going to try to break free. Uh, to break uh the great Cellador free, and so here we basically have, um. Yeah, it's basically um. Oh, yeah. So here we're trying to do something a little bit different. Uh, we um, are moving all of our guys up front because, um, yeah, I wanted the longbowmen to shoot right at the beginning. Um, in hindsight, this is not a great formation. So one of the things that I'm concerned about is his Utterfast coming, um, doing like a, an early attack rear. And so I'm trying to set up this kind of trap where he would attack these guys. And that's basically what this formation was all about. Um, now, in hindsight, and you'll wait until sort of the end of probably the next couple of episodes, uh, 
where there's another big battle with Relay. Um, this was not a smart way to set it up. Uh, I really overestimated the other Vast in some ways. Um, but mainly the issue we have here is we just don't have enough chaff. <laughs> um, so we're kind of, we're spread into one very thin line. Uh, and yeah, so, but that's, that's all we got. So we're, you know, we don't have much. We mainly, this is an issue because like we've been fighting a 1v4 now. I mean, Oceanit doesn't border us anymore, but like we've been fighting 1v4 for since the beginning here. So we just are, it's the same troops that have been fighting all of these battles. We barely have any new soldiers coming in. Um, it is, so these fights are like, the only reason he doesn't have a lot of dudes here is because I killed them in a previous fight, right? Otherwise he's recruiting, he's happy, none of his forts are sieged. My forts are under siege constantly. I can't recruit anything anymore. Um, so I am much diminished is what I'm trying to say. But uh, we'll see next turn how those fights uh, go. Um, I am... Uh, Abyssia has, has just attacked me, so I'm sending him another message like, come on, like, seriously, you're, you're like, fighting, like, I don't know, I'm trying to, I, I'm, I'm talking to, like, I'm falling on deaf ears here, that's the expression, I'm falling on deaf ears, um, which, look, it, fair enough, right, clearly he has some kind of deal, and he's gonna honor it, and I get it, I think it's a stupid deal, <laughs> is my point, right, he's, of course he's gonna get of course they're gonna kill him next, right? There's no reason, <laughs> of course they are, right? So I don't know what he thinks is gonna happen. I mean, go for it. I wish him like, I, mean, I kinda, I don't wish him luck because I kind of am, am mad at him. Like I think the way he's played is bad for him and obviously has caused me a lot of trouble. But uh, you know, it's, it's just not gonna work. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I'm trying to convince him otherwise. By now it's kind of too late anyways. like. I'm not going to recover from this situation, but that's that. Um, and then I tell Iryu, like, uh, well, we were just kind of sharing. Iryu and I are in a similar situation. We're both having kind of good last stand fights, but we know it's our last stand. So, you know, I was trying to send him a few gems. Like, maybe he could use nature gems. I couldn't, so that kind of stuff. Nothing too special. Um, we actually, let's, uh, let's end the episode here, and uh, we'll continue in the next one, and we'll see the outcome of these two battles. See you guys then. Take care.